Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting here having my coffee with all of you. Already done my chores as usual. Um, so today I'm going to show you some baby chicks that are hatching out, still in the incubator, and go through my garden because I've got some great stuff going on in the garden. Oh my gosh, I'm just really pleased with the way things are going in the garden. So you'll get to see all that, and I gotta tell you, um, I've been haunted by that dog that, uh, I think it's a coon hound, and you know what, I think why it was in the shed, I bet you it chased a raccoon into that shed and was just there, you know, barking, telling me that it was there, so, but she's been haunting me, she was so skinny, and I just, oh, I regret not taking her in, it was just, you know, like about 4, 4.30 a.m. in the morning, and I was tired, and I just didn't want to, you know, I just didn't want to deal with it. But if if she comes back, I will definitely collect her. I'll put her in the yard because she's clearly friendly. Feed her, water her, see if I can find the owner's information on her because it had collars on it. I mean, brightly colored ones. So, you know, the theory that some of you had said that maybe it was out hunting and just got lost, I think that that's probably true. So... I've been looking for her. I've told everybody, um, if you see this dog, let me know, and I'll take it in, and I'll make sure it's, you know, taken care of properly. Um, but I, I have just been thinking about her so much, so I regret not doing the right thing and taking her in in the first place, but if I see her again, I'm going to take her in. Anyhow, um, well, let's just uh, get going and look at the baby cheeks and look at my garden. Oh my gosh, they're drying off. Oh my gosh, I, I, I can't even count how many. There I is, think there's 22 eggs. 22 eggs left? Yeah. Okay, so that means that's about 10 chickens, and that's good. I don't know how much more space I got in my brooder box. I didn't think all 32 of them would hatch. Oh, they're just so cute. Are any of them, any more of them pipping? Not much I haven't seen any. There's one blue one right there that didn't make it out of this. Yes, they're just kind of tired. Well, I didn't think that all of them were going to hatch, and not, not all of them were going to make it. That's why I brought over 32. Right. I figured maybe half of those, you know. And now for some garden updates. This little lanky tomato plant, yep, it's got some blooms on it. These beans are spreading all over the place. They sure are. Remember how wilty these squash plants were? Well, they're doing great now. Developing more blooms down in the bottom. Zucchini, yellow summer zucchini. And look at these beans. These are looking even better than those other ones. They are just climbing up and I can't believe it. It is in clay soil with all that other stuff I put in it. And that's a patty pan squash. It's doing good. This tomato plant is doing pretty good. The beans, not so much, but that's all right. I just plunked them down in there. And, um, yep, we're going to be getting some tomatoes on here. Over here, something's still been eating my uh, eggplant plants, but, oh, I noticed a bloom. Oh, my gosh, there's blooms on all of these. So, what kind of bug is that? Oh no, it's going to be a dead bug here in a minute. Um, so I put diatomaceous earth on top and underneath the leaves, and it seems to have helped because the new growth is not getting eaten up. Yep, more blooms. Patty pan, doing great. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, there's a few raspberries. They're small ones this year, but maybe they'll be bigger next year. But this new growth is, like, huge. I'm probably going to cut that back because it doesn't need to grow that high. Yeah, and this just kind of spread down right here. So this garden bed right here is doing really good. That, remember that? That's that chocolate mint that, hi, Papa. What you doing, boy? Um, that I had just started from a couple little runners that look like that. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so that's one to go over there to be by the lemon balm. Don't step on that dill. That's volunteer, uh, volunteer dill. I can't believe it. Strawberries, yeah, they're doing okay. Um, this is starting to flower. I pulled a few of them off, fed them to the chickens. The chickens absolutely love lemon balm. 
at this corn in this bed. It is the tallest and it's because it gets, this spot gets the most sun throughout the day. So that's why this is taller. But they're all doing pretty gosh darn good. I just want some rain. I need some rain today. And yep, the, the beans are growing up. I have kind of like just put that back up. But uh, yeah, the snake is no longer here. Um, yes, and the this little squash plant, what is that down in there? Oh, we got some blooms, man. We got some blooms. Um, so the squash is doing great. <laughs> Still, the, the peppers aren't doing that great in here, but the peas are taken off. And over here, these tomatoes are looking very luscious blooms all over the place. Bell pepper plants are starting to kind of grow up a little bit more. Um, the ones that get the most sun, of course, are going to do the best. And over here, I have left two squash plants, but man, they are just outpacing the uh, hot peppers, jumbo jalapeno peppers, and then cayenne peppers. Um, but I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm trying to like keep, keep them steered away from the pepper plants. So hopefully it'll, it'll do okay. And over here, looky, we've got pretty little pink blooms on the beans. These are just bush beans. So as soon as I start seeing actual beans, I'll, I'll pull the first ones off um, and hopefully encourage it to, you know, grow more beans. But tomatoes, tomatoes everywhere. These are ready to start ripening up. Cherry tomatoes, celebrity tomatoes, more big juicy cherry tomatoes. And look at, there's a nice grouping a celebrity tomatoes right down there. There's tomatoes on every single plant. There's a whole bunch of them over here. Look at all of those tomatoes. Yep, tomatoes everywhere and more. Uh, bush bean blooms. They're pretty, they're pink. Last year they were white, so this must be a different kind. But this garden is doing absolutely phenomenal. It needs to rain today. That's all I have to say. It has to rain today. It is trying to rain so hard. The sun keeps going in and out of the clouds that I think we're going to get some rain here. We've had a few sprinkles already, so my plants need it. They really do. Anyway, um, well, the, the baby chicks are almost done hatching, and so if none of the others pip today, um, they're going to just let them dry off, and then I can come pick them all up tomorrow and put them in the, the brooder box. I don't know how many there's going to be. Dropped off 32 eggs. I would be surprised if even half of them um, hatched because some of them were a little bit older than 10 days. Um, so I won't be surprised if there's a large handful of them that don't hatch. And, you know, sometimes the babies, once they hatch out, they don't make it. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I'll be happy with 10 chickens. And that little brooder box I got over there, I'll show you tomorrow what it looks like. Um, it's not that big, so it's not going to last very long if I get more than, like, maybe 10 chickens. So, we'll see. Anyhow, I'm rambling. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.